John Miller has been putting together the story of how the killer struck the headquarters of Navy Sea Systems Command. John? It appears that Aaron Alexis planned his attack very carefully in the days leading up to his rampage. Once he entered the building with that hidden weapon, he seemed to turn the very training the Navy gave him against them. Police say it appears Alexis headed straight for the fourth floor that overlooks an atrium that was filled with employees having breakfast or coffee. Investigators believe he chose that spot because it offered a position of tactical advantage, allowing him to shoot down into the atrium or across onto other walkways. Alexis stayed there until he was confronted by responding police and security officers. A D.C. police officer exchanged shots with him and was wounded. NCIS agents confronted Alexis and fired. Alexis took to the stairwells, moving from level to level of the atrium, continuing to shoot. Alexis shot a security officer and took his weapon. Once he left the atrium, teams of police searched with no contact for a long time. Some estimate as much as 15 to 20 minutes. Police searched until a team made up of a D.C. police officer and a U.S. Park police officer suddenly came face to face with him in an upper floor hallway. They opened fire, killing him. Police say within seven minutes they had reached the scene and engaged in the initial gun battle with Alexis. Within half an hour, Alexis was killed. Part of police training for dealing with an active shooter situation is to take officers from the various agencies as they arrive on the scene, form small teams to get to the gunman as quickly as possible and stop him, whatever it takes. And that's exactly what happened yesterday. They don't necessarily wait for the SWAT team anymore. Jim. No, the, the idea is to stop the killing as soon as, they, as soon as they can with whoever they have. Thank you, John.